said to my sister, you know what? I'm going to do one of mom's favorite. And I said, I'm going to make some tortas. So let's get with this. Okay, I have a cup of warm water. Una taza de agua calientita. No queremos que yeast se muera. So, to this, voy a echar dos paquetitos de levadura. I'm going to put two packets of yeast. It doesn't matter if you put a uh, fast raisin yeast or the active dry. It, it doesn't matter as long as it's yeast. They're both going to do the same job. But I put one in one always. Okay. Salt? No, not yet. So we're going to give this like a second. Vamos a darle un minuto a esto. Para que esta levadura pegue activarse. So it could be activated. So we're going to give it like a minute. So let it be activated. I would put sugar, le pondré azúcar, pero no. Because I'm going to show you how my mom made it. Le voy a enseñar como lo hacía mi mamá. So vamos a dejarlo aquí un solo minuto. Ya el minuto está corriendo. Y cuando ese minuto ya estén, vamos a empezar con la, el aceite, la sal, and a la harina. After that minute's done, we're going to start with the oil, salt, and then the flour. And then we're going to mix it in. Because the kitchen is so hot, we don't have to put it in the oven. Porque la cocina está tan caliente, no tenemos que ponerlo en el horno. Esto mismito, right? Uf, Dios mío, ayúdanos para no. So, si, sí, estoy contento. Delightful dishes in our home. And it's it's incredible. I, pe I think people should come out more and show their, you know, their dishes out there. Because... There's a lot of talent inside the houses. It's just that we just don't do it. Listen, I haven't showed my face, I guess, because I'm camera scared yet. But soon I will, because I'm going to do this live in Florida. Todavía no lo he hecho. De eso porque tengo como que un poco me da con la cámara enseñar mi cara. Pero ya cuando esté en Florida, que tenemos que hacerlo en vivo, porque claro, todo el mundo va a conocer mi cara, claro. Um, pero hay mucha gente en la cocina que saben hacer unos platillos tremendos y estas personas que sí saben hacer muchos platillos debieran hacer el video y, y sacarlo a la luz para que la gente vea su talento porque habemos muchas que cocinamos en la casa y por años y años y años desde pequeña y hemos cocinado toda clase de platillos y, y estamos ocultas pues no, hay que sacarlo al aire para que la gente aprenda a cocinar hay personas que todavía no saben ni freír ni un huevo bien. Pero en esta cocina vamos a enseñarle hasta freír un huevo. Porque también tenía una de mis hijas que quemaba los huevos. So, we, I had a daughter that burned the egg. That will burn an egg. So, right now, it's just simple. This is like baby steps. All what I'm showing you is just like baby steps. So, this minute is up. And my yeast smells delicious. So, at this we're going to add the oil. Okay. This minute is up. Let me get this spoon. Because I don't have measuring cups here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's me. Six. I don't know if you guys put less than that, but that's how, what I do. A tablespoon and a half. Una cuchara y media de sal. A tablespoon and a half of salt, six tablespoons of oil. Seis cucharas de aceite, cuchara y media de sal. To this, we're going to cover five cups. Aquí vamos a poner cinco tazas, pero como ya yo lo sé de medidas, pues yo no necesito la taza. Because I know it by eye, so I, I don't use my cup. But this is how much you need to put. Five cups. I already know this by eye. So, I still got like two more cups in there. Y vamos a menear nuestra harina. <laughs> yeah, I like to make messes. A me gusta hacer revoluciones en mi cocina. Pero como está la cocina de mi hermana y mi hermana está trabajando, me dije que le iba a tener tortas hoy. I told her I was 
she was working. I told her I was going to have some Thor dust today with beans fried. She's like, oh my God, yes. I don't care where anybody wants to cook. I just want that. So you see how wet it still is? Okay. Don't be fooled by the wetness because we could still make them like this. So I'm gradually going to put, I still got remaining two more cups. So I'm going to gradually put one. Okay. I have one left in there. I'm not going to use both hands. I just want to use one. And the one that I'm saving is when I have to put it in the counter. And not even because my mom never put it in the counter. Because my mom did it from the pot to the frying pan. Mi mamá nunca lo puso aquí, en el contador. Mi mamá siempre, um, ¿cómo es el counter? Sí, mi mamá siempre lo hizo en el caldero. Estamos practicando el español bastante acá con ustedes. Right now, we're going to make a bowl. Me está perfecto. I love how it looks. Do you see how simple? Ve que fácil es esto. Esto es una cosa de otro mundo. Una taza, one cup, half, one, one tablespoon and a half of salt, and six uh, tablespoons of oil. So, so cinco tazas de harina. Me una taza, una cuchara y media de sal, una taza de agua, y seis cucharadas de aceite. Eso es todo lo que necesita para hacer las tortas. Y otras personas le dicen arepa. Y no, dependiendo, porque a veces las arepas le hacen um, con harina de maíz. Yo muchas veces le quiero echar harina de maíz, y, y no, para que tenga otra textura. Pero en Puerto Rico se hace con harina de trigo. Que harina de pan para hacer las tortas. Esto es algo muy nítido. Entonces, this is. See, it's not a lot of kneading. So what I'm going to do is put flour in the bottom so it won't stick. Le echo más harina abajo para que no se pegue. Y aquí está. Nuestra, it's, it's done. Okay? Now, la tapa. Y en una hora volvemos. Porque... ¿Ven? Ha pasado de una hora y ya tiene dos veces el tamaño. So, ahora lo voy a sacar. Now I'm going to take it out and put it on a bowl, a small bowl. So we're going to take a piece. And we're just gonna start molding it. Vamos a comprarla y vamos a moldarla. Mi mamá las hacía así. Y no la quiero hacer muy grande. I don't want to make them too big. I mean, we can only fit probably like two. Mamá, podemos cut. Yo creo que solamente dos caben ahí. Now this is done really, really quick. First serving. So let me show you these guys now. My finished product. So this is it. Torta con habichuela. Like I said, this is like bread and stew beans with pork. And we have, I made them with three kinds, steak, pork, and um, ribs. Because three of the kids, that's how they like it. But easy, simple. And this is really, 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 really good for a day like, okay, just if you want to have guests over, you can make this. This is very, very good. It's like you're frying bread. You know, it's it's simple. It's just so simple to do. Well, people from our kitchen to yours, from my sister's kitchen to your house, I am like so happy to bring you this recipe from her house. De nuestra cocina la suya, bueno, de la cocina de mi hermana la suya, le traigo esta receta. Simple, fácil, arepa con habichuela, 
La puede ser usted, la puede ser cualquiera. And I hope you do enjoy. Just remember, just, just making some beans and just making bread. It's very simple. And here, like I said, soft. You know, this is amazing. Like, it's always, we always serve five for one serving and the beans. Yummy. Bueno, mi gente, if you like the recipe, please ring the bells. Please subscribe. We appreciate all the love you guys are giving us. Please, um, have you have any comments, please bring in the bottom. I will have this recipe on this video. So, it's just simple to do. Si, mi gente, por favor, suscríbanse, tocan la campana. Esta receta la voy a tener en inglés y en español para que ustedes la puedan hacer fácil y simple. Hasta la próxima, mi gente.